so good morning dear students today we are going to start with a new chapter that is introduction to c language okay now in chapter number 9 we had learned about uh, flow chart and algorithm am i right now we learn to develop flow chart or we learn to develop algorithm what was the purpose of that thing it was used to or it was uh, taught to you so that you are able to find out the solution of any given problem we next step what we have to do is we have to convert the flow chart or algorithm which we have created into any programming language okay if we want to create a program in computer then the flow chart or algorithm we have to convert it into any programming language now there are various programming languages from which in this chapter you will be taught how to create a program using c language c language is the basic building block of any other programming language once you know how to write a program using c language thereafter you will be able to develop a programming any other uh, such programming languages also the syntax of all the programs are very much similar fine now in this chapter the first concept which we are going to discuss is need of programming language i hope you heard clearly what is the need of a programming language now we know english we know gujarati we know hindi right we know different languages then why can't we write a program in such languages such as hindi gujarati or english am i right that question should arise in your mind why to write the program in separate programming language what is the need of that thing can't we write in a uh, simple language like uh, english gujarati or hindi am i right now what is the drawback of such languages the main drawback is if i speak a sentence in any of this language it may convey two meanings also especially apni gujarati bhasha evi che ke gani vakat apne bolva jiye kai kane eno bijo arth thai te nikalto hoy ખરું ને ઘણા બધા મૂવીઝ માં તે ડબલ લેંગ્વેજ માં જોક્સ ક્રિએટ થતા હોય એવું પોસિબલ છે સો લાઈક દેટ વે એ સેન્ટેન્સ કુડ હેવ ડ્યુઅલ મીનિંગ અનધર થિંગ ધી સેમ સેન્ટેન્સ કુડ બી રિટર્ન ઇન સો મેની ડિફરન્ટ વેઝ ઓર કુડ બી સ્પોકન ઇન સો મેની ડિફરન્ટ વેઝ ધી સેમ આઈડિયા ઇફ આઈ વોન્ટ ટુ એક્સપ્રેસ આઈ કેન એક્સપ્રેસ ઇટ ઇન ડિફરન્ટ વેઝ યુઝિંગ ડિફરન્ટ ગ્રામર દેન દેર આર સિનોનિમ્સ each word has got so many synonyms so i can use different synonyms to represent the same word in a sentence and poets poets still makes the sentences or the thing more confusing by adding adding uh, so many phrases and uh, so many things i don't know right so that is why this is the main drawback of any language now computer cannot understand if you write in dual uh, meaning language right or like this way so this does not work well with computers for computers to work properly each sentence has to be clear and precise i lay importance on these two words clear and precise each sentence should be clear and precise now programming language when used allows us to write instructions that has got only one meaning in programming language if you give any instruction it will convey one single meaning okay you can underline one meaning it consists how is it possible it consists of predefined rules there are some rules okay so any language consist of predefined rules these rules forms the syntax of that language 
this word syntax will be used throughout all the chapters of C language. What is the meaning of syntax? How to write the instructions using those rules? That forms the syntax of that programming language. Hence, learning programming language is only learning a new syntax to represent the instructions we want to give to the computer. Okay. Now, whenever you want to learn any new language, you need to learn the grammar of that language. Am I right? If you know the correct grammar of that language, then you will be able to create sentences in that language. And next thing is vocabulary, uh, increasing your vocabulary. Now, here also, to learn any new language, you need to learn the grammar, that is the syntax of that language. Now, It is like uh, learning new grammar when you want to learn new language. Hope this much is clear. Now we come to the next topic. And the next topic is need of a translator. Now a new word has come. Add to your vocabulary. Translator in C language. Okay. Translator word you know. But in uh, context to programming language, I am teaching you the word translator. What is the need of a translator? Computer, however, do not understand the language that we speak, that is English, Gujarati or Hindi, that computer cannot understand. It understands only zeros and ones. You have been taught to you, uh, this, is, this thing has been taught to you, right? In 9th standard also and in primary also, that computer stores everything in the form of binary language, zeros and ones. So it cannot understand English, Gujarati, Hindi, neither it can understand whatever we type in any programming language. Is this sentence surprising or confusing? Yes. It cannot even understand whatever thing we type in the programming language. So, there comes the need of a translator. Whatever we translate in a programming language, that is to be translated in binary language that is 0 and 1 0 and 1 okay and again when we want the output it should be translated in the programming language which we can understand right I give you an example for example a person A we take the example A person A knows Gujarati he can speak Gujarati he can understand Gujarati right person B he can uh, speak in uh, he can speak in uh, Marathi he can understand Marathi. Now, if both the people want to communicate with each other, is it possible that they will be able to communicate with each other? No, that will not be possible. Then, how to solve the problem? To solve this problem, we need a third person named person C. Person C is the person who can understand Gujarati as well as he can understand Marathi. So, he will work as a bridge between both of them or he will work as a translator between both the persons. Okay, whatever the person A will speak, he will translate it and uh, in Gujarati and whatever person, uh, sorry, in Marathi and whatever person B speaks in Marathi, he will translate it into Gujarati and represent. So, like that way, in simple example also we need a translator in the same way in computer, we need the translator to convert the programming language into binary and again binary language into the language which we can understand. So that is the need of translator. That topic is over here. Here, in the example which I gave you, the person C is known as the translator and the process of uh, converting one language into another is known as translation. Remember both the words translator and translation. Fine. Now, the problems of computer, computers not understanding our language is solved by using the software, problem, uh, software programs called translators. So, the programs like uh, C language also uses the translator in between. Okay. 
दिस ट्रांसलेटर्स आर ऑल्सो नोन एज कंपाइलर दिस वर्ड ऑल्सो कुड बी आस इन दी एमसीक्यू एंड यू हेव टू रिमेम्बर दी वर्ड ट्रांसलेटर इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कंपाइलर ओके हु कंपाइल्स दी प्रोग्राम दी प्रोसेस ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन हेज बीन डिस्कस्ड एट दी एंड ऑफ दी चैप्टर होप दिस टू थिंग्स आर क्लियर टू यू नीड ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड नीड ऑफ ट्रांसलेटर नाउ वी कम टू दी थर्ड टॉपिक दैट इज प्रोग्राम एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए प्रोग्राम प्रोग्राम एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए गुड प्रोग्राम ओके फाइन ए प्रोग्राम कैन बी डिफाइंड एज ए फाइनाइट सेट ऑफ प्रिसाइज एंड क्लियर इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन टू ए कंप्यूटर फॉर परफॉर्मिंग ए प्री डिफाइंड टास्क दिस इज द डेफिनेशन इट कुड बी आस इन द एमसीक्यू ओके आई एम रीडिंग इट वंस अगेन ए प्रोग्राम कैन बी डिफाइंड एज ए फाइनाइट सेट ऑफ प्रिसाइज एंड क्लियर इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन टू ए कंप्यूटर फॉर परफॉर्मिंग ए प्री डिफाइंड टास्क द प्रोसेस ऑफ राइटिंग द स्टेप बाय स्टेप इंस्ट्रक्शन यूजिंग ए चोजन लैंग्वेज इज नोन एज प्रोग्रामिंग दिस ऑल्सो कुड बी आस्ड इन द एमसीक्यूज so i am once again reading this statement the process of writing the step by step instructions using a chosen language is known as programming now we discuss the characteristics of a good program a good program must end after the finite number of steps okay for example if you have written a program to calculate the sum of two numbers okay then the user will enter the first number then he will enter the second number then you will perform the addition of both the numbers and then you will give the output that this is the sum of these two numbers so at that step the program should end it should not go on and on on and on like a loop it should end okay any program should end so that is the first thing first characteristic second characteristic the instructions of program must be precisely defined just now i told you that our gujarati language is a language which is having dual meaning right here it will not work no dual meaning will work the instructions should be precise that is it should not have multiple meanings okay it should not have multiple meanings third point all the instructions must be effective that is they should be carried out exactly i will try to explain you this thing with an example that suppose if you want to add two numbers then just now i had spoken the different steps which are to be performed in that program now in between if i add some more steps which has nothing to do with the addition of these two numbers or inputting the two numbers or outputting the sum of the numbers and if we include that step which has nothing to do all this thing then that is not advisable that you do not have to do means in other language if i say then if i am explaining you this topic and at the same time if i discuss something else about some movies or something else or if i give my personal examples then that thing will not work here okay then fourth step there are five steps so fourth one is fourth characteristic of a good program is a program may have zero or more input sometimes a program may have zero input i give you an example if you want to print on the screen that welcome to c language then it will not have any input you will not ask the user to enter anything you will simply display the output that uh, welcome to c language okay then that program is said to have zero input another thing here is it could have zero or more input i give you another example which uh, where there are more input uh, uh, create a program to calculate the sum of two numbers now to solve this example you have to take how many inputs two input input the first number and input the second number so there are two inputs so a program can have zero input or more input 
एंड फिफ्थ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक एंड द लास्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ए प्रोग्राम मस्ट मस्ट एंड मस्ट प्रोड्यूस वन और मोर आउटपुट इफ ए प्रोग्राम डजेंट गिव एनी आउटपुट देन दैट इज यूजलेस ओके इट शुड गिव द आउटपुट इन द टू एग्जाम्पल्स विच वी डिस्कस्ड इन द आउटपुट ऑफ द फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम विल बी वेलकम टू सी लैंग्वेज द आउटपुट ऑफ द सेकेंड प्रोग्राम विल बी द सम ऑफ द टू नंबर इज सो एंड सो राइट सो द प्रोग्राम मस्ट हैव द आउटपुट सो दीज आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए प्रोग्राम राइट आई होप दिस मच इज क्लियर टू वन